Good morning. It's Wednesday, October 5th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Guilty, and our scripture is Genesis chapter 42. We are going to be dealing with understanding the issue of guilt the next three days. In Genesis chapter 42, we find Joseph's brothers, who had hated their brother, sold him into slavery and brought the misery of decades of guilt down on their heads. They're discussing why they're having such a bad time trying to understand their own guilt. Genesis chapter 42. Speaking among themselves, they said, Clearly, we are being punished because of what we did to Joseph long ago. We saw his anguish when he pleaded for his life, but we wouldn't listen. That's why we're in this trouble. Didn't I tell you not to sin against the boy? Reuben asked. But you wouldn't listen, and now we have to answer for his blood. Added to Joseph's brothers and the rest of humanity, the prime example of a man who clearly understood his own guilt was a thief dying next to Jesus. Luke chapter 23. The other criminal protested, Don't you fear God even when you've been sentenced to die? We deserve to die for our crimes, but this man hasn't done anything wrong. Guilt is something that plagues everyone. It's like the man who wrote to the IRS. He enclosed a check for $500 with a note explaining he couldn't sleep because he had cheated on his income tax the year before. At the bottom of the letter, he scribbled, If I still can't sleep, I'll send the rest. (laughs) Unresolved guilt is debilitating. It affects our health, our attitude, and productivity in life. It also affects our worship and service. So the basic answer to the question of why we feel guilt is that we are guilty. Paul tells us that everybody sins. For everyone has sinned, we all fall short of God's glorious standard. Innocent, we know better than to claim that when standing before holy God. John's epistle specifically states that if we try to claim that we're not sinners, we're only deceiving ourselves. There are all sorts of techniques for our denial. The main two are these. Number one, we try to hide the evidence. Joseph's brothers tried to hide their sin of selling their younger brother into slavery, but God knew all about it and eventually brought everything out in the open. There's no such thing as secret sin. And secondly, we try to blame others. Of the eleven brothers who sold Joseph, Reuben, the oldest, tried to shift the blame from off his shoulders by blaming the other ten. That didn't work for Adam and Eve either. If you recall, Eve blamed the serpent. That was bad enough. But Adam blamed Eve and God. He said, it was the woman you made for me, Lord. And that's what we're going to talk about tomorrow, why we don't feel forgiven. For you today, it's tempting to use the excuses for why you did what you did, or worse, to just flat out deny that you did anything wrong, or it was less of a sin than somebody else's. None of that changes history in the sight of an all-knowing and all-seeing God who is all-righteous and holds us accountable because He sees all that we have done, and He knows what we're thinking. Sin will be dealt with, and it will always be on God's terms, never our excuses or denial. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.